Okay, uh, next video. So we have one more sensor that I put into that box that I gave you guys, and that is the bump switch. And it's on the back it says bumper switch, I just call it a bump switch. And it really, it reacts very, very similar to the um, limit switch. They're almost the same thing. The only difference is the bump switch probably needs more pressure to be hit. The limit switch is more sensitive. Uh, but again, it's a digital sensor. It's either on or it's off. It's push, push down or it's not pushed down. It's yes or no. So let's, uh, let's work with this thing. I'm going to go to new file. And I'm going to save this file. And you guys are going to save it in your documents. And I'll put this into the intro to robotics. So will you. And maybe you're doing this right after you do the potentiometer. Maybe you're doing this on Friday. Um, either way, um, just put Friday's date just to separate them. So 3.17. Dot 17 and we will call this intro to bump switch hit save cool intro to bump switch and again let's just get this thing going to see if we can um, just get it to work and I'm gonna go to motor and sensor setup now this is not an analog sensor, right? It's just like the limit switch. It is on or off. So we're gonna go to digital sensors, and let's uh, let's plug this one into digital one. So bump switch touch motors motor one vex three nine three. Apply. <clears throat> okay. I always check up here just to make sure everything's right. Sensor is a digital one. It's called a bump switch with a capital S. Sensor touch. Motors and port one. It's called motor one with a capital M. T motor VEX 393H bridge open loop. Cool. Sounds good. Let's create our loop. So tab. One equal equal to one. This is a loop. Needs curly braces, right? Cool. If statement if sensor value and the best part about me doing this on a video lesson, if I'm going too fast, you know what? You just pause me. Or you can slow me down. Or you can speed me up. Cause I'll put it on YouTube. I need to compile my program because it's not noticing my what I wrote there, so I get a bunch of errors. But now when I type in bump switch, I should get that in red. So if the bump switch is pressed do the following code enter if statements get their own curly braces and let's it's very similar to the limit switch so let's just say um, start motor motor one at 65 Let's just do negative 65 just to do something different. Semicolon. We're going to wait uh, eight seconds. And then we want the motor to stop. And this is motor one. Semicolon. Hit compile. My error should go away. Cool. Let me back that up so it looks nice. All right, we got it. Um, so I'm gonna write a quick note. Uh, okay. Let's 
speed. So motor will start at speed 65. I don't want to put negative 65 because it's not negative, it's just going in the opposite direction. So depending on what that is, I don't know what that looks like yet. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise. I think it's counterclockwise. Motor runs for eight seconds. Cool. <clears throat> Save. Compile. Got it. All right. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna switch to the other video just to to show how it's uh, plugged in for those of you that might uh, have trouble with that. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm not. It, it should be clear on that first one how I did that. I don't want it, you, that thing's going to be waiting around, and I have a feeling you're probably not going to watch it anyways if you watch that first one. But realize, you know, where these are supposed to be plugged in, right? Port one and uh, digital one. So that's where they go. And uh, always make sure it's download the firmware uh, to the Cortex, see if it's connected. If it's not doing what it needs to do, if it's going directly to stop. Sometimes that means that it didn't do a power cycle, so unplug the battery and then unplug the orange cord. Orange cord goes back into the computer first, then the Cortex, plug in the battery, check it again through here, and then try to run it, okay? <clears throat> 